Yeah, Chief, it's me, Don Wick, as you requested. I assume you know why I've called you here today. That's right. I've cleaned up the streets of Periyarvi completely. There's no one left it. To... You're fired. Wait, what? Yes, fired. We took away your gun and your car and gave you a moped. A freaking police moped, and you managed to cause twice as much damage by blowing up half of the city. You blew up sausage so far that my wife found some in our garage and thought I had an accident between my genitals and a chainsaw. We're taking back the moped, don't ever step foot in this establishment again. And keep your sausage away from my wife. Wow, you try and clean up the whole city and you end up losing your job. Well, I guess we're millionaires anyway, it really doesn't... You know, I was just doing it for something to do. We don't really, we don't really need the employment or anything. I'm not kidding either, we really did clean up the city. We changed, look at that, that explosion hit so hard that our, uh, our urine hunger and thirst bars are completely different. So if you guys didn't know, there was a giant update in my summer car that just happened. Like, just now, basically. Uh, and we're gonna check that out. And from what I understand, the update is probably one of the most substantial updates that there have been yet. To the point where I'm not gonna be able to cover it in just one episode. So, uh, expect several My Summer Car episodes. Oh, you know what? Before we go anywhere, we do have to clean out the windshields here. Now, if you guys don't know how to clean your windshield, what you basically want to do is you want to get the windshield nice and wet, and then just kind of, <laughs> bam, right there. You want to do it while it's wet, because that's going to get all the dirt in one shot. And if, if you can, use your right hand uh, and the first two knuckles on your right hand. I'm going to show you again. There's another quick one right over here. Flex tape guy will be happy. Right no, there. That's, a lot of that's how you clean it up. We're, we're set. See how much better we can see now? So, we lost our police car. We lost our police motorcycle. They took my gun from me. I basically have nothing now. Uh, you know, our job is done. Was that knob always twitching? Like, like, poltergeistically like that. Maybe I just never noticed it. I feel like the graphics over by the Trump estate were a little twitchy, too. Really weird. Kind of, like, just the graphics and... Uh, see how it's, like, convulsing over there? I don't know what the deal is. Maybe that's something with the new update. Supposedly the entire... There's, like, changes all over the map. The grandmother gives you jobs now. There's, like, a brand new thing that happens on Saturday, which is good because it is Saturday. So we're gonna have to check that out. There's, like, new AI and just... There's a... There, there's stuff everywhere. I mean, we're gonna have to find all this stuff that has changed. Oh, there's some new stuff over by the cottage, too. We're gonna have to take a look at that and... Oh, mother of God, this thing... Does this thing slide more now? It feels like it slides more. Where's my rear axle? Go ahead and put that down and kind of catch on the ground a little bit. You can now chop up the moose and grill it, <laughs> apparently. So if we ever come across uh, the, old, the old Finnish wildebeest, we'll be sure to blast it with our vehicle. Chuck it inside, carve it up real smooth, and then throw it on the old Barbie. First things first, though. First things first. It's time to head over to old Tamo and see how he's doing, because from what I heard, after we blew up his entire shop over here, he went ahead and got some money from the city. The police department basically had to pay him off to not sue him. And he utilized the money for some brand new renovations. Mother of God. Hold on. Let me roll up over here. You know, just throw on the parking brake like it's no big deal. Turn this crap off. We're gonna need to get some gas, I think, as well. And remember, kids, always fasten your safety belt, especially after fisting the windows out of the uh, windshield of your vehicle. Look at this. This is, uh, are, are we still in 1995? This feels like 2000. I gotta tell you, what forward thinking stuff. A digital sign for the gas. Wow. Gas isn't, uh, I don't know. Is this bad? Like, is this a bad price? I don't even know. 1995 Finland? I couldn't tell you. Oh, there's our dynamite box. We could probably use that. Tabo! Tabo, how's the inside of your shop? Is it still fine, or? Okay. I'm just, I just want to see if there's anything new over here that we can buy, because I'm going to tell you, man. Like, he'll throw some stuff in the, uh, in the updates. What the hell? 
Oh, yeast. He'll throw a bunch of a bunch of stuff in the update, but he won't tell you everything. You gotta find some of this stuff by yourself. We got our potato chips. We got our what is this again? Fisk Fisk Pinner? Yeah, or like fish dinner? There's the steaks. The steaks are still there. There's all the milk. So you participate? I was there once. Second, when there were two competitors, sometimes you come out alive. I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Is that a new one? Oh, it must be because there's the laugh. Wait. Grounded coffee? Can we buy that before? Hold on. I want all of it. Give me all the coffee. What else do we have over here? Two stroke, motor, oil, fire, chicken. That looks new. Yeah, shut up, shut up. Just give me the coffee and stop talking. Now, if you guys don't know, Old Gray basically freaking lives on coffee. It's it's part of my it's part of my bloodstream at this point. Now, can this reach over here? I want to see if there's anything new. Is it still just as annoying to try and play the freaking line up the the diesel fuel game? We'll find out here in a second if we have enough space. You got another uh, fuel over there as well. Grab it. Now, supposedly, you. Yep. Fuel lines like three feet long. Now, supposedly, there's a new crime that you can commit if you screw up the fuels. So, I guess there's another way for us to, uh, to piss off the authorities. But for right now, let me just go up here. Kind of roll up like this. There we go, and see if I can put some new gas in Because this is going to be our main vehicle for at least a little bit, since we lost all the other vehicles. They got freaking confiscated. Oh, I, I think there's a little bit more leeway in fueling up the diesel thing. Thank you, Top Gun Jesus. Oh, how long have I waited? This is this is the best feature of the whole of the whole update. Right here. Being able to fill up the gas from, like, six feet away. I'm so happy about this. Realism, you can suck it. Still takes seven hours to fill up the friggin' tank, but whatever. I can look past that as long as I can kind of wave my nozzle around with one hand. Well, I like to grip my nozzle with my left hand, and then I'll, I'll kind of, like, sling it to the left and to the right. You know what I mean? Just to see if I can find the hole. Because every once in a while, before, it was very difficult to get your nozzle in the hole. Uh, you know, I was, I was jerking it all over the place, and I just, you could never get it in. But now... Now it's a little bit different. Now I think you can you can get there much more easily. I don't know if I would say the hole is bigger. Maybe the hole is just wider now, just because I don't know if we've used it more or uh, or whatever. But as of right now, big fan, big fan on this update. You know what it is? I don't think that the hole got bigger. I think that our nozzle got bigger. That's what it is. Take that, YouTube. All right, let's throw this back over here. Pay like the twelve million dollars in freaking gas. I literally like we. I just gas this thing up for probably five minutes five minutes straight of gassing where's your friend at don't you normally follow him everywhere you're just kind of sitting over here sad and depressed don't you have somewhere to be status d took off man what are you doing it you just you just you just lonely is that what this is you feeling dejected i know how it feels man status d's been messing with me for months years even okay i i feel your pain me and you are the same. See? The guy's like the no frog. He's like, nope. But like really slowly. Tamo, how much do I owe you? Like 500 marks. Oh my God. 150 marks in gas. Man, what a bunch of crap. Oh, while I'm here, should probably uh, deal with the thirst a little bit. Hey, I, here, I'll give you a five cent recycling fee. There you go, buddy. Right there. You can keep that. Now, the place that I want to go next is going to require us to have enough beer and sausage. So we're gonna, I gotta do a little bit of cleanup here. Don't worry, Gray's not cleaning up the area for fun. We're, this is, there's a whole reason behind this. I'm just saying that if we're gonna roll up on the hottest spot in Saturday Night Finland, okay, we need to be properly stacked because you're gonna, you're, you're gonna see things that you've never seen before in Periyarvi, all right? What you're gonna see may shock you, and quite frankly, it's a little bit, it's a, the pill is easier to swallow if you've had 13 or 14 Kavala beers over here. What happened here? What is this? What sort of, what sort of odd Doctor Strange time space warping has occurred that Tamo decided to lay cement directly over a case of beer? Can I still take, of course you can, why wouldn't you be able to? Just pulled it right out of the cement. Probably not even dry yet. Got a little wet cement in the beer. No big deal. That just puts hair on your chest. That's man. That's man drink right there. Just raw cement. 
basically. Don't, kids, don't drink, don't drink cement at all. It's, I don't know what it would do to you, but I had a buddy that got, like, cement poisoning just by getting cut by it. So, uh, I imagine ingesting it isn't very... Is that status D? Did he do, like, a whole lap? Now, they said that the AI for status D and everyone has been changed, so I don't know if that... Yeah, here he comes! How about this? Usually don't see him run around on his own. Let go. Oh, wait, you're not here to kill me, are you? Okay, good. Huh. Give me your finest sausages. Where are they? Where's... Wait, where... Where's the sausages at? I, I just... I just bought, like, a dozen sausages. Where the hell do they go? What, what, I have to come behind the counter to get them these days? Where's my sausages at, Tamo? Did you just take my money and give me nothing in return? Tamo. You better, you better cough up my sausages, baby. I don't know where you're hiding them in your pants, but I want my sausages. Great, now I have to do pizzas. What is going on here? Where are my sausages at? Where's my pizza at? He's just, he's just taking my money. He's not giving me anything in return. Is it because there's so much crap laying inside of the, ha inside of the business over here? Uh. I just threw a milk container. And it was like I tossed a freaking cannonball at this guy's card. You see that? Hold on, I gotta try something here. Man, m milk does a body good. Where's, uh, I, I can't seem to, to buy any milk. We bought the, the whatchamacallit, the freaking coffee. That was fine. All right, some time has passed. I managed to find a couple of, like, sausages and stuff laying around. Look, I've got stuff laying all over the place. Because for some reason, I can't buy anything else right now. Got a bag of chips over here. I think we'll take that with us, too. Time to see if one of these new updates is uh, in full effect or not. We got sausage, we got chips, we got tons of beer, I got my dynamite box. We're basically ready to roll. Full tank of gas. I kinda gotta urinate, but it'll be fine. Close this up, we've got no windshields on our vehicle, which means that we can see perfectly. And remember, kids, if you're gonna throw down TNT, make sure to buckle your safety belt. Oh, are the kids still playing soccer out here? I figure while we're, while we're driving, we can see if anything's changed. Yep, they're still playing soccer. Are they still? Oh! I forgot it's like hitting a friggin'. What? Oh, I had a kid stuck in a wheel well. It's like hitting a uh, like an invincible tree. I'm not rallying. I'm not. I'm not here for the rally, guys. <laughs> Look at all the people in here. I'm not rallying. I got somewhere I gotta be. Oh. Oh, friggin' sweet. We got a beacon now. I don't really know exactly what it does, but I mean, I, it, I guess it's our little emergency light, but do we need it or it's just kind of there to look cool? All right, here we go. Now, I don't know if it's time yet because supposedly, oh, uh, probably not because the, the rally is still like really, really going over here. Look at all these people, people everywhere, but I got to show you guys something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's going down tonight. Hold on. Let me, let me hop on out of here. Check this out. Yes. Oh, can you get in? Oh, no, it's still locked. But look at that, there's a there's a stage up there with a um with a microphone. And then that's all the furniture that we put in here before. So I guess we're just gonna have to drive around until it's a little bit later. Alright. There's something I really wanna know. What is this? What are we dealing with here? Right here. What does this guy want? He's looking at us. Is he telling us to go away or is he telling us to come closer? Or was he just picking his nose? I'm here. Yeah, you see, he's like... <laughs> really? Do you know who I am? You think your walls could, could sit... Whoa, 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 okay. All right, that was a little weird. I was gonna say, you think your walls can save you from me? I'm like the Finnish boogeyman. All right, I can headbutt through pretty much anything. What, what, what goes on in here? Now, is he backwards or is he just turning? Oh, this is one of those instances where his head will go a full 360 degrees, isn't it? Yep, that is dreadful. Hey, old dude, open up, FBI. Oh, apparently your front door doesn't connect to the sad little room that Topless Gun has confined you into. I don't know, are you on house arrest or something? Is this guy like part of the, uh, part of like some sort of offender registry program? Is that, is that what's going on here? Like he can't leave the house? So he tries to get his little bit of personal communication in? with anyone who just happens to walk on by. 
I need one of those drunk guys. You know the random drunk people that just walk by and you can punch them in the face and they just start snoring? Half of the time they get hit by status D. I need one of those dudes and I gotta try and shove him through the window to see if this guy like mauls him or something. Maybe he's a cannibal and he'll eat him. I don't know, man. Anything new in here? Nope. This was the next house that I would figure that something would happen to because this house was like substantially fleshed out and nothing ever occurred with it. Kind of, uh, it's a little bit odd. I, I feel like, I feel like I've been cheated or something. This house is eventually going to be something. I just don't know what. There's even a car in front of it and everything. Got some fancy hedges on it. I had to come back here, get a couple of cups of coffee. You have, so you have coffee, don't you? Yeah. Look at how tired we are. If we're going to party all night long, we're going to need some special stuff. You just keep them coming, Tamo. I bet I do. I'm going to be chugging these pretty much all day. Give me another one. Give me like 10 of them. Is this pretty normal for Finland? I think we've had like seven cups of coffee so far. Just been shotgunning them down. Keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. Hold on. Give me one more. Let's roll it on up. Oh, hold on. I got to get rid of some of this here. We're taking a lot in. We're not... <laughs> Give me a break, man. Look at how many cups of coffee I've been having. Just keep them coming. I'm paying you. Keep it going. All right. We're set. Let's roll. So I ended up getting the freaking tanker stuck over here. Hopefully we can still make it to the party. Oh, Jesus. Of course this is going to happen when I'm trying to get somewhere. All right, buddy. Come on. Pull on out of there. There we go. There we go. Now we're doing it to it. I don't have my, my seatbelt on. So. Really? Oh, my God. After a freaking act of Congress. I finally got back on the road. Sometimes I hate this game. You guys have no idea. Like, I did. What? <laughs> what is that sound? Oh God. Oh my God. Hold on. I got it. This thing's barely getting up this hill. Do you hear it? What is this karaoke? I'm gonna roll up here. Oh mother of God. Hold on. I gotta. We got. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, there's no, there's no option for lowering the music. So I, I'm going to have to do it like post. Look at this insanity. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. There are women in my summer car. Is that a woman? Are they all grandmas? <laughs> this guy's dancing by himself. It's like Footloose in here. Drunken Footloose. This must be, was this like the bouncer? Is this the, is this the organizer? There's a band playing. Oh my God, it's blowing my freaking eardrums out. Uh, banks get slacked for no reason, really, because in a bank you can score. Oh, oh, I think we're slowing things down over here. This is the slow dance music. I'm trying to find my lights so that I can shed a little light on the party. It's kind of dark in there. 10 out of 10 singing. 10 out of 10. There we go. Now we can actually see what we're dealing with over here. <laughs> Look at the beer. Oh no! Oh my god, I had no idea! I didn't know it was like this! Now supposedly there's like a drunken bar fight that can go on in here. How do you start it? Do you- Oh my god, the bass in this thing! Do you just go up to a dude and... Sock him? Nope, that didn't work. Oh! Look at this! Yeah, what's your problem? What do you want? What do you want? Is he escorting us out? He is, he's like, um... He's like security! Whoa! He throws you straight on your ass. All right, scumbag. You think you can stop me? Hold on. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 it doesn't work. I can't stop him. <laughs> he throws us like a good 20 feet, too. It's like the Hulk of friggin', uh, how about this guy out here? What's that? Oh, oh, oh. I just got my ass kicked. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, yeah, buddy. Boom. Come on. We can win this. We've beaten Drunk Man before when he had an axe. Bam, bam. Got a couple of hits in. A little dodging, a little ducking, a little weaving over there. By the way, I have some happy news. Last week, I become a father. His name is Bailiff, and I hear <laughs> my dad. There we go. Mm. Mm. You know what the problem is? We need more alcohol. Hold on. We're gonna get this fixed up in just a second. Oh, the karaoke in the back. <laughs> there we go. Seven or eight beers in. Now we're rocking it. You want a piece of gray? Ugh. Breaking this dude's neck. Boom. 
Uh, sting like a butterfly. Gonna freaking snap your vertebrae. Okay, this guy's invincible. Like, I don't know what it takes, but I've been beating him for like a good five minutes. That sounds terrible. I've been punching this guy in the chicklets for a good five minutes. All right, I don't, I don't think we can. I don't think we can win this. Ugh. All right, that's it. Screw it. This is exhausting. I got a better idea. You gonna throw me out of the party? Party's over, suckers. Party's over. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Okay, so I kind of tripped over a dynamite stick. So I had to redo things. Boys know how it is. Status D pulled up over here. Does he get out? I don't think he does. I think he just hangs out over there. All right, let's try and do this again, but this time let's not fall on our own dynamite stick. Here we go. Got status D up in here as well. I do want to grab the box so it doesn't go into the 80th dimension. Go ahead and throw that like, uh, I don't know, over here. There we go, we'll find it, I'm sure. All right, bearded lady, move aside. Party's over. Oh, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out, 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 out. Oh! Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, what have we done? What is happening inside of here? What sort of weird infrastructural psychosis is happening? Oh, it's the people. It's the people dancing. We've, we've jittered out all the individuals. Look at this guy doing the hanky pankies. Just got beaten ahead with a freaking piece of furniture. Oh, oh, it's, it's awful. Oh my God, they're flying everywhere. This is insane. It's actually taking these two guys out. It's crazy. The dude that was over here just got evaporated. I think he's, I think he's inside of the, this grouping of, of weirdness. Oh, <laughs> what is happening in this game anymore? This, this guy's head's on backwards. I'm up here on stage. Security can't get me. Now he can. I'm going to let him go ahead and throw me out. All right. I think we've had enough fun at this party for now. The music is making my ears bleed. Oh, it's so loud. All right. That's going to be it for this episode of My Summer Car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to uh, ask the like button, which happens to be a bearded lady out on a date or something. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>